In open air, hydrogen at a perfect stoichiometric ratio burns at about 8 feet per second. Okay, once all the water is out of the bottle, then we put a cap on the bottle. So we have control of the gas. And we set the bottle aside for a minute. Okay, we can stop for now. I'll be demonstrating that any fuel's burn rate is affected by its air-fuel ratio and if it's in an enclosed environment. First we'll do some browns gas. Was it? Okay. Can you see the water blaring? This is the first half of the explosion experiment. Here, I'll show the container that I'm going to use in the explosion experiment, the rocket igniter that I'm going to use, and, to, and show you how the principles of expanding vapor actually create pr enough pressure to push the piston down. The container that is open can't have any pressure because the pressure just immediately goes into the uh, surrounding air. A container that's sealed and heated will create pressure. Gases that are burning are hot. In a sealed container, they create pressure. Down here, we'll see an unsealed container, which we will pour gasoline in. This gasoline will be ignited with the rocket igniter. We'll first dim the lights so you'll be able to see the flames. Now we'll fire the rocket igniter. This chart shows gasoline's flame speed in ambient open air to be about 1.25 feet per second. As you could see, the flame burned gently. Now I'll empty all the gas out of that container so there's nothing but vapors left inside. Then I will put an igniter cap on the container and will take it over to a safer place in the shop to explode it. We will now watch this container explode. Now, 